It always seems to be on the days that I'm incredibly prepared that my stream deck decides to not be incredibly prepared and will not listen to me when I want it to listen to me. Welcome back to the stream, folks. What a way to start the stream. Complaining about tech. I never do that. That would never happen. My name is Joel Duggan, if you're wondering, if you haven't figured that out from the name on the channel. And we are in West Hill, just outside uh, of West Hill, actually, in the pumpkin farm that we've been working on. There's more work to be done. I, uh, I think it's going to be more pumpkin patching. Uh, although, I do, I do want to repair some of my tools and stuff. The shears need some help. So we might take a little bit of a walk to start the stream, which could be fun. We haven't done that in a while, so we, we might wait for a few more people to pile in. And then with uh, the new viewers that have been coming around lately, we'll go on a little bit of a walk back to the gold farm and replace some things. In the meantime, I'm going to check to see if I need any supplies. We'll see what's going on around here. Janoy, Crosshatch, Blast Jordan, good to see you. Obu, as always, good to see you as well. There is a skeleton at my back door. I thought I heard something. Creeping around back here. You're in the pig pen, sir. Thought I heard something else, too. Nope, I guess we're good. Cool. I am in creative mode, you're right, because I was taking, uh, I was taking screenshots before. Let me just switch. Thanks for catching that. I would have noticed eventually <laughs> when I tried to eat something, I would have been like, wait a minute. This seems like too good to be true. My bone meal. All right, let's start with a fresh inventory here. We are pretty low on azalea leaves, so we're going to bring that. We'll get some of those. I knew I needed a supply rod anyway, so that'll be worth checking out. We do need some mangrove, maybe? I might have mangrove leaves inside. How are we for roots? Could use a few of those, too. Well, we're not that low. I don't want to make more work for myself than I really need. We're good there. Coarse dirt is not a problem. Dirt certainly is not a problem. Oh, we don't have to worry about mud. So we're good there. I probably would have noticed creative mode right when I went into my shulker boxes. I would have been like, wait a minute. What's going on? Oh yeah, we've got lots of mangrove there. So those can go in here. Oak leaves. Okay. So I'm gonna repair some stuff. I definitely need some don't need need some moss, but we might as well get some moss while we're going. Cobble, we're good. And decide I'd have to check. I don't know where I would get more. I think the modern city. Try that. I find every now and again it's good to do one of these little trips because then new people on the channel get to see parts of the server they don't normally. Sorry for all the box shopping. Get a little bit low on basalt too. Rain. Gee, we could use some of that here in the real world. 
It is very hot today. We actually have a heat warning in Nova Scotia. Hopefully you can't hear my air conditioner. And if you can, just ignore it because I'm not turning it off. <laughs> All right, so that's the kind of stuff we can grow. That's fine. I'll put some of these away. That was interesting. I guess we'll do a little sleeping. It does sound like a Nazgul. I will I will give them that. They're annoying, but they do sound like Nazgul. Oh. There you are. Don't have anything to shoot you with. I'm not going to get any drops. Unless you see me and come at me. But I guess you're just going to fly around? Sure. All right. And a sight. I think that was really it. How are we doing for gravel? Do I have gravel out here? I think I do. I think we're good. Nothing in there can be mended anyway. I'll load up here. <clears throat> we'll check inside quickly, just in case there's something inside that I'm forgetting about. Blast Jordan, you're into rain-filled summers? Yeah, I like the rain if I'm not out in it. Um, I wish I had a covered balcony, because it's too hot to sit outside for me right now. Like it's, well, I mean, it's also like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I'll get shaded about three, which is good, but I would love to be able to sit outside in the morning and do email and stuff like that. But after even nine thirty, ten o'clock today, it was just too hot to be outside. Don't need anything there. We're good for gravel. I think we're good on just about everything. So not a lot of stuff. I feel like there's something I'm forgetting. I feel like there's something that I did need more of. But I don't remember what it is. So I'm not sure if anybody in chat has remembered me saying over the last few streams if there was something that I just didn't have a lot of. Anyway, road trip. So for anybody new, if you are um, someone that's not seen the other parts of the server, we are about 10,000 blocks away from spawn, roughly 9,000, 9,000 uh, in the northwest direction. And so on the server, we've got a bunch of fast travel points and they're command blocks that basically just teleport the player from one location to the other. And what we've done is we've set up a bunch of like, we call them portals, but they're just meant to look like the kind of nether portal thing that you see in Minecraft, but then instead of taking you to the nether, they teleport you to different zones around the server. And we've got this medieval fantasy zone where I've built West Hill. We've got a modern city zone, which is where Southport is. Uh, and then we also have um, kind of like Spawn Town. A lot of players call it Spawn Town. And that's where Dartmouth Meadows is. And then everybody has their own respective bases. But once you get back to Spawn Town, there's no teleporting there. Uh, Spawn Town is basically just like all within quick nether travel for everybody on the server. Aldabar with a 12-month gift sub, courtesy of Cosmic Dancer, entered its second month. Good to see you, Aldabar. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for that shout-out for Cosmic as well. And Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Good to see you, Mind Trip. 
I know that you're working and lurking, but I, uh, I always appreciate the ongoing support on all kinds of things, not just here on Twitch, but on Patreon for spawn chunks for myself on Patreon. I really appreciate it. Speaking of nice summer weather, I'm actually thinking about adjusting my stream schedule. I don't know if I've mentioned this on stream before, but I've certainly talked about it on podcasts. I uh, I think I might move my Sunday stream to a weekday. Uh, I mean, I can do things during the week on my own, no matter what. But a lot of my friends are like Monday to Friday, nine to five people. And so I think I might like to have my Sundays to myself, especially if they're nice days. If they're nice Sundays, it'd be nice to go to the beach or go for a hike or something like that and not have to worry about canceling a stream. So I think that might be coming. So we've got little buttons that activate these portals. There's a command block just underneath there. And it takes us to the air quotes portal. So this is the one that goes to one of the areas in the, um, uh, in the medieval fantasy zone. You can actually see Steven's Sarah monument from here, which I didn't realize since I increased my render distance. And then we've got a portal to another right there. And there's other, that's the south, south portal. And then there's a 118 zone is over there. And I think those are the three portals. No, there's a fourth one. Sorry, the modern city. We're actually going to hit the modern city right now. And that's over here. This is the center of the world. This is coordinates 1-1. One, one. And then our modern city portal is right down here. Obviously a work in progress. This is a fun place to go. I re this is some place I might be spending some time. Obviously we've got some data pack issues that I need to fix. Um, I haven't bothered because I'm waiting until we update to 1.21. Um, this is just a fun place to be. It'll be a really nice change of pace from the medieval area. But one thing I have here is andesite, I think. Oh, negativo. That's a no, no on the andesite. All right, well. Do I have a lot of other things that I can craft andesite out of? I've got some extra shulker boxes here that I could use too. What's in that one? Nothing too much in the overflow. Andesite is what, cobble and diorite? Yeah. Do I even have cobble? Yes. Oh, we've got lots of cobble. Do I have diorite? Also lots. Let's just take a stack or a row from there. I love having bulk storage. And then we'll just craft some. And this should do us for a while. I use this block a lot. We actually talked about this on the episode 300 of Spawn Trunks, the first video episode on YouTube. Someone asked us, like, what are the most underrated blocks in Minecraft? And my answer was um, andesite. I just, I use it so much. But I don't think about it much. And I'm just constantly, in the last few weeks, just always running out of it. Uh, let's do stairs, slabs, walls. Cool. That one's done. Easy. So one of our little, I guess, suspensions of disbelief here in the modern city is that they have water elevator technology just because it makes life a lot easier. But for anybody that hasn't been here, it's an ambitious project for sure. I'll get up higher. So 
So high it takes two rockets to get to the roof. Pretty fun. Obviously, a lot of stuff still has to happen, but... This building, I think, is almost finished. There's definitely a couple of apartments that are finished inside, too. I think the mosaic is my favorite. And then, to get back, our teleport command block is in the visitor, visitor information center. <laughs> With the map. Although, I really wish that this... I might find a map mod or a map data pack that does a better job of Minecraft maps. Because this would be really cool if it looked like this. Um, obviously, maybe the other way around, but I just think it would, it would be cool if it looked more like natural colors. And didn't have to be lit from behind. Thanks, Blast Orton. Yeah, it's a fun spot. It's a really good project if you want, like, I don't want to say arduous tasks, but if you want tasks that are, like, repetitive, if you like digging or flattening or building walls or building boxes and, and repeating the same structures over and over again, if you get satisfaction out of that, then building modern city stuff is very cool because everything's just boxes. Kiwi be good. Good to see you. Hello. scooch in here and get some I think Azalea is not from here I think Azalea is from the farm but we can get moss while we're here and moss carpet might as well. Got the azalea saplings. I need to make some more green concrete powder. Th that's our iron farm, actually. That little storage room. And so it's going to be one of the cool things to update when we get to uh, 1.21. I don't remember. Not a really close bed, so we'll have to rush. I don't know if there's going to be an azalea farm nearby. Doesn't look like anything's planted. I'm mostly looking for leaves, so I might just plant a couple. That looked like a horse. I saw something moving. Yeah, it's a horse. Okay. I was like, what was that? Caught it out of the corner of my eye. I don't think I bought brought my bone meal, so do I have any? I don't. There might be bone meal in the farm. Just a little bit. We'll see. Not enough. Can you over here? Guess it's a BYOB, bring your own bone meal kind of situation. Wish I had a thought of that. All right, well, we got one. Let's 
Whoops. I could just, well, no, there's nothing much to take, is there? All right, I guess we'll have to see if there's any bone meal kicking around. I, you know what? I might take a couple of those back with me just to say that I did. You know what? Megan doesn't play on the server anymore. I wonder if she's got some bone meal that I can steal. Happy Thanksgiving, my gosh. From a long time ago. Is there any other storage down here? I'd say this is just a mine. Oh no, storage room. Maybe we'll get lucky. There's some bones. Done. I guess there's one good thing about having some server mates that are no longer around. Oh, that's not a door. Easily avoided had I remembered to just bring bone meal with me. This should be enough to top us up anyway. Something really satisfying about taking down all the leaves on a tree. It would be kind of a fun experiment to do this a bunch of times and then... Oop, I'm not sure what that was. Try to... Um, try to create like dead trees out of the skeletons that are left. Use Minecraft as like inspiration and then build out from there. Jeez, followed me over there. So, grab those. Actually, we'll get this too. I guess I need green grass blocks from somewhere. The one time I didn't bring any dirt with me. So we'll leave the bone meal in here as well. Actually, you know what? Let's condense that down. Do I have a crafting bench nearby? I sh should. Somewhere. Go.
Blast says, uh, if you've never attempted something like that, your brain doesn't do well with arduous tasks. Sometimes it works just enough to build big. Then it needs a few weeks of rest. Yeah, I need to take a nice break from the big projects as well. I've definitely felt the squeeze on, uh, on my brain after spending so much time on West Hill. We'll leave those for the next person. I don't need more of those, so we'll leave those for the next person as well. And I'll leave those. Actually, I need the sticks. I'll bring those. And I'll leave the saplings. I, oh, I'll leave these too. What? How did I do? Do we mostly replenish? Well, halfway there. That's fine. It's good enough. We'll do for now. Now we just repair some stuff and head back. Take a speedy route. Whoops. Sometimes I make that turn, sometimes I don't. There's lots of projects like this that I think could be updated as well, especially now that we've got, um, what's it called, uh, cherry wood in the game, all the pink wood. We could really make this look, look cool. Where's my, where's the zombie guy? Is the zombie guy no longer here? Oh, he's over there. I think everything was on me, so all we have to do is just hold the stuff that needs to be repaired. No time at all. Word Nerdify, good to see you. Man, I pulled a muscle <clears throat> along my ribs doing squats two days ago. And smarts, still feeling it. You think my legs would be the thing that are sore, but no, even just sitting here is hard. Pro tip don't get old, chat. <laughs> it's not the greatest. That's the end of that wave. I love how fast this farm is. I guess I don't come here with tools that are all the way down to zero either. I usually just come when I'm halfway. I really like the change that they made with netherite. The, the fact that those netherite tools last so long now makes a world of difference. You don't feel like you're running to repair stuff like all the time. Farms feels a little bit slow today. He says after saying how much he liked how fast it is. Oh, there's a good wave.
What kind of farms do you folks have on your servers or on your single player worlds? Are they like skeleton farms, like the old fashioned mob spawner farms? Do you have um, guardian farms, nether farms like this one? What's your go to? Ender Ender? Yeah. Our Ender Ender is really slow. I mean, it's old and it's built with older mechanics, but I've never been able to get one fast. All right, well, I don't think I need to wait for all of this. We can just go. Not a lot of nuggets happening, but also not nothing. Back we go. Crosshatch says I have an Enderman, a Skeleton, and a Blaze farm, but the Blaze never works. You haven't made a farm yet, Kiwi. Good. That's interesting. So you're just constantly attacking mobs when you see them? That sort of stuff? We've got a blaze farm, but it's not really meant for XP. It's more of a, a blaze rod gathering situation. It's going to be dark when we go outside. I tend to take the quick way most of the way back. I will, however, sleep here so we can have a nice walk back to West Hill. I've also found that the uh, one or two runs of a trial chamber gets a decent amount of XP. That's a good call too. You know, I think that that's for people that find XP farms to be a little bit boring. Then I think that that's probably really good that a trial chamber will um will help with that. Kiwi Good says my mob policy is sleep and avoid. So what do you do for levels then? How do you get your levels? Trading with villagers? I think the morning light is my favorite in West Hill because dapples through the trees along the path. Looks really cool. I've been keeping track of some MMOs that are in development. Um, some of them are not looking all that good in terms of the gameplay, but there's a couple that look really pretty. You know, using the Unreal Engine to get light siphoning through the trees and the forests and stuff. I've got a soft spot for, for World of Warcraft, but some of the new MMOs look really, really good. I really wish that Wildstar had kicked around longer. I quite like that game. I like the cartoony aesthetic. If you can give me an MMO that has like a cartoony aesthetic, but also has this kind of lighting, like rendered lighting, I'd be down. Coal, redstone, and lapis mining. I, yeah, that's right. I guess if you're mining, then you're going to be getting XP that way too. Place is starting to feel filled in with these farms on the right hand side here, which is really cool. Hey, you know what? It's a sandbox game, Kiwi. Be good. Messing around is par for the course, right? I really have kind of barfed my shulker boxes everywhere, haven't I? Is 
Azalea. That was over here. I don't think I've made slabs in forever. We tore down a village to make West Hill, and there's just been no shortage of stuff ever since. For, for um, oak, anyway. Cool. Uh, I don't think I need... Oh, yes, I will need that one. I... So I need to refresh my memory. I need, obviously, pumpkins and vines. Pumpkin seeds. Maybe I should do this wall first. Yeah, let's start with... Let's start with the wall first. That would make sense. And that is a little bit less. That's vines. Is that deep slate? Yeah. Deep slate, tough vines, all of the mossy things. Word Nerdify says, I enjoy watching others more than I enjoy playing the game. I think Minecraft is one of those games that's that's weirdly fun to watch, even if you don't play it, or if you have played and you don't have time to play anymore. I feel like it's one of those games that does kind of come in at that level. Like, I can't watch something like World of Warcraft if I'm not playing it. There's just too much going on that I can't see or don't know. That's the mossy bits. Now we need stone bits. Need more of those. Matter of fact. Need some tough. Cobbled and get some grass, ferns, vines, carpets. Oh, I need to make some concrete powder, don't I? Yes. Oh, my gravel's inside. Crap. Guess that's something I should bring out. It's like twice now I've had to come in here for it. Whoops. Anything else in here that I might need? We're 
good. Put it with the rest of the stone so I remember where it is. Okay. Think that should be everything? So the idea here is that it, there was like a wall here that used to divide part of the of the grounds and we're going to have it look like it got broken down and then start back up again so we'll do the same thing here maybe even throw in a wall is that going to connect to the pumpkin no that's good I like that. Just realized I forgot to get pressure plates. Uh, P1, thanks very much. I appreciate it. It is coming together, I think, too. Oh, buttons. Also, cracked stone would be good. Is this pumpkin on something? No. So it looks like I was trying to have the pumpkin maybe show through the wall a little bit. A lot of this is just trial and error. I feel like this needs to be higher up. Maybe we'll switch these two. Hmm. 
Hmm. Just wanting it to look cool from the road here. I feel like that looks all right. I did have a pressure plate down there too, didn't I? Yeah, maybe we'll switch that out. A little too repetitive. Let's get there. This is where the wall might come in handy. So I want it to be low here. So maybe we'll go with like a mossy brick there. Hmm. It's tough to get these things to go the right angle. I guess some of this could be switched from pumpkins to to um leaf blocks as well. That might help make it look like it's not so much of a solid piece here. This looks okay. I just this is a little bit too much. Although I guess I could also just add in a little bit of height there, although if I do that, then maybe here has to be solid as well. That's not bad. I really don't know what I'm going to be doing in this area. I've got this wagon. Maybe we could put like wagon trails or something. Don't know how we do that and not have it look strange though. It sort of, sort of works. I don't know. I think it'll have to be a, a texture that's even with the surface. And we can't change the ones underneath the, the wheels. I 
feel like this needs more height. I think I need to go get some uh, mangrove bushes. I think the fact that it's all pumpkin is starting to throw me a bit. Yeah, that helps a little bit. I find sometimes adding slabs that have fallen down maybe help a little bit, although maybe not there. Maybe that's where we can put that button. Crosshatch, thanks for the heads up. Is a little bit even through here now. Maybe this is going to go back to solid. No, it still feels too tall. I did it just once over there. Maybe it's just that this is too even. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do carpet on this here. All right, well, since I need to sleep anyway, I will take my first break. For folks that are new to the channel, I step away about once an hour, refresh the old coffee and the drink. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, maybe tell a friend that we're streaming and encourage them to come and check it out. The more eyeballs on the channel, the, the better I do. I will be back in about five or six minutes.
I feel like that timer went faster than usual. Maybe it's just me. Thanks, Crosshatch. Appreciate it. We have guests. This is how it feels like to be outside <laughs> in Nova Scotia right now. People are just on fire. Come here, Creeper. I don't want you surprising me. Get you on some stone in case bad things happen. I could have sworn that I had it set up where creepers didn't destroy, or they dropped the blocks that they blew up, but apparently, apparently not. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this. A little even. I think there needs to be something happening here. Well, that's going to make that a little bit narrow. So maybe this is going to go. That feels pretty good. X Twitch, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. I saw you out of the corner of my eye, Mr. Creeper. Come on over here where I don't care. Uh, bone meal. Full inventory, that took an hour and 12 minutes, I'm surprised. Although I guess we weren't really building for the first 45 minutes when we were streaming. Maybe that would look better back here. That would probably look better as a smaller pumpkin. Like one of those ones. I don't know that I like that there. Maybe we'll switch this back to grass or something. Hmm. I think we'll use vines in here. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Lawrence DS just arrived. What are you working on? So we were working on a pumpkin farm that's just outside of my medieval town. So we've done the custom pumpkin patch over here. That was last stream on Sunday. And here today we've been working on this wall you can see that there's what used to be a wall maybe across there imagine like maybe the old farm was to there but they've expanded and now it goes to there just thought it would be a nice way to kind of break up the pumpkins and then give this this is going to be a different kind of use but then we've got additional pumpkin patches happening over here and so we're just kind of like working on this wall and these pumpkins 
And all of this is next to a three-year-old project. We're just kind of filling out the valley, so to speak, in that area there. Still have no idea what I'm doing over there. None. Nor do I know what I'm doing here. So sometimes it's flying by the seat of your pants. No, I forgot that that was going to do that. Whoops. I think maybe we can switch this to a stair. That looks a little bit better. Nope. Whoops, not that. Maybe I need to switch this. Nope. That's probably the best we're going to do. Love the blocks that I've added. Thanks very much, Lawrence. Uh, can we put pickles on top of pumpkins? I don't think so. Maybe? Do I, I think I have some. We can try. Never thought about that. It might not be the right color. Yeah, you can. I mean, only works unless you want like alien pumpkins. But you can totally do that. I never thought about that. I wonder if that matches the other stuff that I'm doing. That's pretty good. Good idea. I was using the moss carpet to break up things vertically. This is not bad. I guess I should make more before I use them all. This spot in here, I can put some down. Is that not how you make more? Not you make, or does it have to be on coral? It has to be on coral, doesn't it? I 
I don't have any. That's right. I'll do it this way. What's easy to replace here? That's just straight mossy cobble. Sleep before I get snuck up on and destroyed. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to do that. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could float gravity-related blocks on top of sea pickles and have them not touch the water. That was interesting. That should be fine. Unfortunately, I now bone mealed a whole bunch of this bottom part that I didn't want to. I think that's mostly right. I kind of like that, you know? We'll see. If it grows on me the wrong way, then we can always just remove them. Makes a really strange noise. I guess the trick is just not overdo it, right? Yeah, that doesn't look good there. I think that helps with things being so even through here. Do have some coarse dirt. Yes, you know, there I find it distracting. So I think it's going to be something where the situation is going to dictate. Too many things. Too many things. Don't need that. Didn't really end up using any of the uh, the darker blocks, did I? You know, this could maybe be 
cobble deep slate instead. Mm hmm. That helps. So this goes down to here. I don't think I want to put a pressure plate there. Although that's not bad. And then here again, I wanted to come up a little bit. Yeah, not there though. Maybe I'll switch that and put this as gravel. That sort of feels like the tail end of the wall. The other thing we could do too is try a stair in here. Sometimes that works. Although maybe not today. Now, I don't think I want that there. If anything, I might trail it off in this direction with a different texture. Although I'm not sure. Here wouldn't be bad. Maybe instead of here, I started out a little bit farther. That still feels a little bit funny here, doesn't it? This is where I wish I had more, I wish I had my pebble texture back. I still haven't worked on that texture pack update. Uh, 
There's a slab in here somewhere. Really? Where did my mossy slabs go? Oh, there they are. I think that's pretty good. Even this might be a little bit too far. Getting there. So I feel like this side of the wall is feeling pretty good. Kind of like what's happening here. Oh, that sticks up too far. Everything along here looks pretty good. I really want to put um, vines here. We sacrificed the pressure plate, but I think it works. Before I even bother with those tracks, I'm going to have to finalize a design for a pumpkin cart. Oh, I just realized I was going to make that a smaller pumpkin, wasn't I? Whoops. Oh, I know what I could do along here as well. I need to get some azalea leaves and some acacia leaves. So I'll get rid of the stone. I think we're done with the stone stuff for now. Uh, maybe we'll keep those handy. I feel like my character has been hungry this entire stream. Just feel like I've been eating constantly. Uh, right. So I didn't have room to do this on the other side.
Yeah, that helps give it an edge, I think. Might even be able to do a little bit of that over here, too. I feel like I've done that along here a couple places. Yeah. Might be able to squeeze it in here too. And then some other spots maybe. a bit repetitive but I feel like it works maybe we'll just do the one here find that this really works well with the carpet next to it. I think we're going to have to move this um, cart back by at least a block. I need to come up with a better design for it anyway. Any ideas for what else we could put in this space besides just random texture? Yeah, if we did this, I think I would have to go something that's got even texture with, or use even pixels with the top here. A little bit boring. We'll maybe use rooted dirt or something. Custom tree. So a tree is gonna block the view. You're not wrong. We definitely could use something. If I put the tree far enough over here, maybe. Maybe like here. randomly quickly Oops 
I don't hate it. I don't think I'd want it that big. And I think it would have to be even farther to the north. Like maybe there, if possible. Not quite. We'd have to put it, maybe tuck it right up in here. Neptune is cool. Welcome in. Yeah, I'd be okay with a tree there. Especially if we used a different kind of wood, like if I used like a mangrove wood or something. Maybe we can come up with something a little bit different. I think I'd want to have it bent a little bit. I'm trying to figure out what kind of cart design I want to do as well. There's no um, log walls. So we're stuck with... Stuck with tree trunks the way that they are. Where are you coming from? Uh, we've got some mods for um, for performance, but it's mostly vanilla. Mostly vanilla gameplay. I'm not even sure if I want to use azalea leaves before I get carried away. I like the idea of a tree there, though. Something like... Maybe the, like this kind of size, that kind of a thing. I think maybe oak would be the better choice, just because those are the those are the leaves that are around. Don't have tough walls. We're not on one down twenty one. Uh, let's go with oak. I never thought about mixing up the leaves, which is silly. That definitely should be on my on my list of stuff that I could do. Missed. 
maybe we'll have a nice shady spot over the cart. Carpets on top do not work. I thought they would. But not really. Yeah, I think for roughing it in, I think that's pretty good. No, this is a private server. I don't know anybody online that lets viewers join them live when they're working on a project that's three years old. That sounds like a recipe for absolute disaster. Have you ever been on the internet before? I will work on that tree. I like the idea of it. Good call. Plus, it'll give us some stuff to do down here. So let's... Uh, I think I'd like to focus on this area here. So let's try to figure out what we can do for a cart. Let's see, I'll drop... I guess I don't need bone meal. We're good for stones. Keep that stuff around. care about that. I don't need the sea pickles anymore. Rooted dirt, packed mud. Oh, I don't need brown concrete powder either. Well. Sorry, folks. I'm a little shy on moderators today, and I just have to help Lawrence. I apologize. Give me a second here. We've got some problems in chat. Uh, Crosshatch, also, I apologize. Hold on. Let me see if I can sort this out. Got to go to my other Twitch chat here. Give me a minute. Apologies, folks. Let me just pop in somewhere safe. Leave it to somebody in Twitch chat to ruin it for a bunch of people. Hold on. Uh, how do I...
Don't know how to change the status, Lawrence. Hold on. I'm not sure if you can hear me. Same with crosshatch. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Unfortunately, people were spamming the chat, and I went to click on one person, and it ended up... Um, oh! Lawrence, you're not banned. Okay, good. Uh, who did I ban by accident? Um, to show crosshatch. Crosshatch. Does that work? Yes. Crosshatch, if you can hear me, you should be back. So let me just recant here. We've got... I accidentally deleted Lawrence's message. Crosshatch is back. Lawrence never left. I just, I deleted Lawrence's message by accident. And Neptune is cool. Turned out to be not cool. Lesson learned, folks. Just don't be a moron in people's chats. It just causes nothing but grief for everyone. All right, cool. Everybody's good. Sorry about the... Uh, Sorry about the interruption. Basically, they were spamming IP addresses in my chat. So no one in my chat, if you happen to see those IPs, please don't go to them. That would just be not good internet safety. Um, I should, I mean, I should have realized the moment they asked if they could join the server. It's like, what, what world are you on where you show up in a random chat, you've never said anything in my chat before, and then you expect to be led onto my seven-year-old server. <laughs> uh, I keep it PG-13, folks, but there are, I really try not to swear on stream. Uh, I think the few times I have has been like a creeper has surprised me <laughs> and, and blown something up that I really didn't want blown up. Uh, but man, times like these, it's it's difficult to hold my tongue sometimes. Uh, concrete is what I was making. Now back to your regular scheduled Minecraft. All right, so we've got texture. And now what I want is fence gates. Maybe some hanging signs, definitely some spruce trap doors. I may try these kind of fence gates. Ladders. I think the rest of it's going to be over here. So. I feel like this has to be back, moved up a bit. Like that. Uh, no. Because I think what I want to do here is actually have the fence gate. Hmm. Oh, what if... No, I feel like that has to go farther. Maybe I've got that backwards. Maybe we have to do these here. 
so that the wheels look like they've got you can see through them. Although I don't know. THZ, TH Zambi, and Mr. Lazee, thanks for the follows. So here, we could put a pumpkin like there. And then put this back. And that sort of looks cool. It's a little bit more robust. I just still don't know about the oak. Uh, trapdoors. Not trapdoors, the oak um, gates. That's going to be annoying if I keep on stepping on stuff. That's not bad. I can do that maybe I can get away with putting this inside just to have that separate that feels pretty good maybe we could do a different color for there I don't think jungle It's a little dark. So this might tie in a little bit better with the spruce trapdoors that are being used as wheels. It's still kind of light, isn't it? I wonder if we can use hanging signs for anything here. They're not going to work. Not going to work as supports, but they might work as like a back. So if I wanted the wagon to stick out, sort of like that, maybe. Oh, right, the pumpkin is holding up the sign. <laughs> Whoops. But then I can't put anything there, really. And that feels a little unsupported. Although, I guess I didn't move this wheel back far enough, did I? Can we put signs on signs? Oh my gosh, we can. It feels a little bit odd. What we could do is maybe use trapdoors here and wrap signs around. Oh, 
Oh, they don't touch. Uh, slabs then. Crosshatch, thanks for the heads up. Appreciate it. I don't have any spruce slabs. Hanging sign could be an axle between two wheels. Uh, maybe? Maybe? Hanging sign is an axle between two wheels. Um, but then we couldn't... Then there wouldn't be a floor to the... To the, um... Wagon, right? I think that looks pretty good. And maybe if I chose a different, um, maybe if I chose a different color slab somehow, cause then I could put pumpkins at the top here. Like I could put a, well, I mean, I guess I don't have to, it doesn't have to be a slab. I could actually have a straight up pumpkin back there, right? Yep, this is Java. Java edition. We're not on 1.21 though. I'm waiting for some data packs and stuff to update. That works pretty good. Wish I could come up with something else there. Maybe we have to do some dark oak slabs or something on the bottom. I'm not a big fan of the dark oak uh, trapdoor texture. However, if I can't see it, that's not the end of the world. Although that's a little repetitive. What's a good Minecraft tip? Listen to the Spawn Chunks podcast every Monday at thespawnchunks.com or find us on YouTube. That is the best tip I can think of. I don't know if it makes a lot of sense. I think I maybe have got it facing the wrong way. Yeah, I think I might want to turn it around. And I don't like, I think I, I don't like the pumpkins actually being on the edges. I think I might like a, uh, this here. And then we can put other things up there, maybe. Or I could put a chest in the back or a barrel. Something to indicate a little bit more going on. Although I say that and I don't know. I think that these might be better off even farther back. Because then they're not going to be competing with these. And that means that I could put these out farther. And that means that I could then put something else actually in the cart here. I'm just going to use a pumpkin for now. 
right? Because then I can get up to, I mean, I maybe don't want to go that high, but I feel like that works a little bit better. And then we could then replace this. It's a big wagon. How do I do this? I guess I could bring this back out. And then I could move these back. These could go back down here. Not that I need it to be full. I think that's a decent plan. I guess the real thing is that I want to turn it around. But that's just a matter of putting things on the different turn it around and maybe move it ahead a block yeah Whoops. I don't remember what was there. You know, that almost looks good at the front too. Like that almost looks like a seat. Maybe that's the ticket. And then I could put slabs at the back. I like that dynamic. Maybe we'll switch this out too. It's not bad. Do I like that side? I think I like the other side better. Well, maybe not. I 
I could use an armor stand to put something in the back of it. And if we wanted to add a little bit more contrast, I could try grabbing a couple of different Darko pieces. So let's try trapdoors and slabs. Helps make it look like a little bit of a shadow, maybe. Yeah. Or I guess maybe this one would only have nails in the top. Or maybe that. I like the dark oak underneath it. That helps a lot. Not bad. Still very samey on the top. I kind of wish we had some more texture going on, but we might be able to do maybe some different signs or barrels. Oh, I can jump up here. That's cool. Uh, any thoughts on the new update? Uh, I like the new update. Um, I haven't had a chance to play with the blocks as of yet. I'd say that's pretty good. I might, uh, I might move the tree, or I might move it. I might move it up again. Well, no, I don't want it. I don't want it to be in the way of that. So I don't know. What does it look like without these? Yeah, it looks a little high without those. Um, I think the new copper blocks are going to help with all kinds of builds. I think that um, the new tough blocks are going to be handy. We're going to use the new tough blocks, I think, decorating the inside of the keep over there. When we get uh, when we get around to doing the basement of the keep, I think, because it's such a, a solid structure, I think the basement will be a good spot to try and experiment with the tough. Yeah, that is not as cool as I was hoping. Maybe what we need to do is put two trapdoors at the front. I could also do something funky with an armor stand. It's better than what we had before. I will give it that. Yeah, we just took down the fence gates. That's what was there before.
Yeah, it needs that lower section, I think. The other thing is that um, I don't want... I'm using these for wheels. I'm also using these for fences. So if, I feel like if I put more trapdoors out here, oak trapdoors, then it starts to be, get confused with what we're using for fences. So I'll leave it like that. I wish we had wheels in the game. Even if they were square, even if they were just decorative wheels, I think that'd be fine. You know, I could almost go with dark back here too. Yeah. Cool. I'll leave it like that for now. Dark, dark, dark. And just like that, clean inventory next for next to nothing. Super easy. Well, that's not bad I these kind of things always seem to take a long time but um, I wanted to get at least a plan for this and then we started doing some pumpkin patch stuff but I think we're uh, moving quite a lot you know along in a good clip I think also by having the stuff back here it's okay to have some empty space here and I like that it keeps the house in view um, again I kind of wish I may shorten that up. Like I may, I may just pull the butt of it up a little bit, or vice versa. Maybe push it back. I just I feel like it's overlapping the house a bit here, so I might just remove, um, probably that part there, and move that back. I'll have to see. It feels a little bit big. I'll do one or the other. Either way, Mr. Dangly Legs, that's a funny username. Welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, we are going to pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. What is going on here? Who is live? I've got Scotsman UK. Morgantic. We haven't rated Morgantic in a while. Yeah, let's do that. All right, folks. Uh, I am going to wrap things up and pass you all along to Morgantic, who is uh, doing some 1.21 survival. So if you're looking for the new update, then you'll enjoy some time there. Now, we did have to do a little bit of housekeeping earlier today. We had to repair some tools and do some things. But I think overall, uh, I'm pretty happy with the changes here. Uh, we've got some details happening. I really appreciate the suggestion from the chat for the pickles. See pickles on top of the pumpkins that's a good idea too uh, i may reduce the number i got a little bit carried away but i think that's pretty cool uh we also were working on this wagon in this area here which i think is just going to be a, a parking place really for the wagon uh, and the tree is a good idea too i just need to make sure that they're separate enough that they don't overlap so i don't exactly know how i'm going to do that at the moment it might be just a matter of making the tree a little bit shorter in the bottom here just so that there's a good separation between the two. Could be moving the tree by a block. We'll have to see. Anyway, uh, I'm going to pass you all along. Uh, if you are looking for some cool content outside of my streams, check out the Spawn Chunks podcast. It's available on YouTube. It's available wherever you get your podcasts. There's also the Citadel Cafe podcast. Uh, and that has got a brand new episode out right now that I recorded in May. But uh, myself and Steven talked about the, uh, the new Fallout show on uh, on prime video so that was really fun and those are all free very easy to find 
Thanks again for the support today, for the bits, for the resubs. Appreciate it. And if you'd like to join the Discord, check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's one of the best ways to support your favorite streamers, including me, if I happen to be one. And you can join the Discord for $2 a month, less than the price of a cup of coffee. Really appreciate it. The Mighty Elkhorn is coming in just at the last minute. Saying hi, Elkhorn, and then bye, Elkhorn. Everybody say bye, Elkhorn, because we're going to go over to Morgantic. See you folks later. I'll be back tomorrow with Lego. Bye for now.